but in peace. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. <laughs> That's my assistant. <laughs> And now here comes another assistant. Hello. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I need a lot of assistants, but I don't have any. Hmm. You guys stay home, make money, chase after boy, girls, huh? Leave me alone, an old woman, yeah? Working, doing everything. So it's never enough, yeah? Never enough. And every time somebody helps me, there is some price to pay. Like I have to run around for two days, <laughs> for example, yeah. Ah, yeah, it's very expensive, this work for me. Are you okay? Yes. Thank you, Master. Have a little cold. Are you all right? Yes. yes. Why is that? <laughs> huh? No, oh, I'm worried because in here it's cold and outside it's hot. You might have trouble. You okay, huh? Yeah. And am I okay? An old woman with the lipstick. <laughs> ah. I think I look better without makeup, though. Some days, yeah, I look younger. <laughs> Why you put makeup on and look old? <laughs> old but ready <laughs> for the camera. <laughs> When I watch a film, an American film, they talk so fast and the subtitles just fly through your, <laughs> fly through your eyes. You don't know what language it is even. <laughs> It's horrible too. <laughs> What can I do? Huh? The films, the subtitle of American films, because the Americans talk very fast. <laughs> they talk very fast, they think very fast, they do everything very fast. <laughs> Even one American has a Guinness record for the fastest talking man on the planet. <laughs> He was the one who hosted our program in Los Angeles, the one word of peace through music, remember? Yes. Yeah. He can pack like uh, 400, 4,000 words in one minute. Yes. <laughs> 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 Alexander decided to try the Lee Harvey Bill Potter of the Street Kid, the man from Atlantis, 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 the Nobody cares because nobody can hear it, so it doesn't matter what he says as long as it's fast. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He, he's really good, you know? I'm just joking. I don't mean to talk bad about him. He's really fantastic. If I could talk so fast and you could hear so fast, then we wouldn't have any problems. We, we need only three minute retreat. <laughs> Not three days. <laughs> yeah? I just come in, and say goodbye. <laughs> That would save a lot of time and money, eh? <laughs> and you still have another two days and 23 hours, 57 minutes left over of your three-day uh, holiday. You can uh, swim all day <laughs> or go shopping all day <laughs> because uh, we're fast. <laughs> yeah, telling you. Actually, in the higher worlds, the frequencies are faster than that, very fast. Yeah. Americans are very fast-paced. Maybe that's why they make themselves so powerful. 
even the whole Europe, everybody just says everything is America, America. You know, America seems like it controls the world. I have to think why. Hmm? Maybe because they're fast. What? Because they're so fast, they're always first, they're always leading. What? <laughs> they are the leading. Because they're always so fast, uh-huh. they always come up. Yeah, I know, everything they do is fast, and sometimes it's not too good either. Like a fast food. Yeah, fast food. Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they even send dead cops into space, and this is really eco haft. How do you say that in English? Disgusting. Disgusting. Suppose that thing breaks, and then the whole air is full of dead uh, particles. It's, it's not good to breathe in, is it? And now you look up to the space and think there's all dead people up there. <laughs> Before it was more romantic, thinking of the stars, the galaxy, <laughs> the moon, and now you have to include the dead people on it. Oh, God. I mean, the dead body is a dead body, you know? It's just a material, decayed material. Just get rid of it as quickly as possible. And the least expensive, the least pompous possible. Yeah? The soul is free. Why encase the body in something, you know? Even if it's unbreakable and indestroyable, why encase it forever in there? It's not romantic, is it? For everybody else, no? I mean, space is for the public, right? It's not just for a group or for people. I don't like that idea too much. Oh, when I first uh, heard about it, I felt oh, very, very uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, I felt like uh, kind of a little bit invasive, you know? Now everybody is forced to look up to the dead body, which really means nothing at all anymore. And if the particle is decayed, if something happens, it may break, and then it's all over the space. Oh. Even just to think about it, it might not be because it might be too minimal that you don't feel it. But it doesn't feel nice. It feels disturbing, yeah? I don't think anything romantic about putting a dead body into space, no? No. I let it fly around for everybody to think about it. My God. Every day we have dead people, and we die one day anyway. It's a fact of life. What is it to make such a big deal about it, hey? Yes. Meetings. Hmm? My humble opinion, that if somebody dies, you should let it be. The body should be burned as the best. Or dispose of it in any convenient way possible, and not to make a big deal and spend so much money on it. We could use it to fit the living. Yeah. The children, yeah? Instead of uh, wasted on the dead, they don't appreciate it. <laughs> There's already a, an initiative in the Internet. I've seen it, and we can protest against it. Mm-hmm. It's a worldwide initiative. I've seen. Okay. It's not protesting. You just let the people know your opinion. Yeah. To say we really don't agree with it, that's all. Okay, no aggression, nothing. No protest, just voice your opinion. Yeah, maybe they are not doing it again, I hope. Otherwise, the space will be full of dead people, because let's face it, the planet is full of dead people, okay? (laughs) And if all of us are put in capsules like that and fly into the space, then the space is no more. Then we don't call it space anymore. We would call it a cemetery, no? (laughs) And we probably walk in and have to pass out, you know, like have to pay attention in case you might bump into some of the the capsules, (laughs) because we'll be flying all over, and God knows that might fly low. Yeah. Maybe the dead body like to go back down to have a look at us and then <laughs> well then we can't even walk anymore because there is no more space to walk around. You capish me? Yes. Yeah, we just voice our opinion. It's very inconvenient. It's not a very romantic idea, methinks. Huh? No. no. Suppose all of us all go up into space after we die. Where does space go? <laughs> huh? Space will run away. No more space left. It's just some people have some really ideas and even feel proud of it. I think it's a little too far, hey? No? Maybe we should... uh, Have you already started or has somebody already started, huh? Uh, Maybe if you like, you can voice your opinion about it. I think it's not a very romantic idea, me thinks, no. Definitely not. Huh? 
मतलब बेदियक माय गुडनेस ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ थिंग्स दे अमेरिकन्स डू समटाइम्स टू फास्ट हाँ nobody thought about that they thought about that already <laughs> jesus <laughs> too much hamburger i guess <laughs> or what i think so. junk food junk food too much junk food you think yes. Pop- fast television and fast television was my daughter go to a ward of school Uh-huh. Uh they don't suggest uh, the children oh. under nine uh-huh. watch television and the uh-huh. computer game. Uh-huh. Uh even, damage the brain. Yeah, even the professor in mm-hmm. Karinska uh says uh, writing articles about mm-hmm. the too much television, too much yes. computer game yeah. damage the children brain too fast. Maybe yeah. maybe they don't think that much. Yes. But let's face it If they don't watch ours, they watch somebody else. It's, it's even worse. Yes. That's a problem. So at home, don't let your children watch TV then, okay? It depends. Yes. At least we don't bombard the brain with all the negative info, at least whatever they take in, because we also beam in out positive, blessing energy and vibration. You see what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So that might not be so bad. Like other ones, yes, yeah. Yes, it might counter yes, affect yes, it. Yes, yes. Yeah. My daughter likes Super Master Television. Yeah, because it has good yes, things, you know. Yes. And the children don't watch all the time because yes. there is something for children, little. But the rest is like philosophy. Maybe the children don't watch it that much because they will not understand like what's the wisdom and all that. So maybe it's not necessary that the children watch that much television, except you know some. Stories or songs, things like that. Jokes. My daughter enjoy jokes. All the jokes. <laughs> she jump up every time she hear the jokes. Jokes. <laughs> yeah, we included that to relax you a little bit after all the serious news. You know, <laughs> who is releasing whom, and who is allowing whom to leave. <laughs> Instead of saying who is not killing who, is it who is allowing whom to live? Things like that. They change it to make it a little bit more. But still, it's too serious. All these uh, political things in the war, you know. So a joke at the end is just relax everybody. <laughs> We try to make the best, you know, and healthy possible, and including animals in it, all that all friendly stuff. Yeah. But nowadays, if you don't use television, I don't know what else to use for spreading the good news to benefit the whole world. So for that, we must sacrifice uh, some little things, yeah. And if you think it's no good for children, please don't let them watch it too much, okay? Or what to do? Hmm? The children under nine don't let them watch too much, yeah. A little bit jokes maybe okay, <laughs> children's stories okay, yeah. But they don't have to sit there and watch all day. You know, like other kids, they sit all day because there are drama on TV. There are other things, cartoons or something, long hours. You know, that's why they watch too much. But in our program, that the people in Belgium they truly love it. This man, he he eat meat, he drink alcohol, he smoke cigarette, and um, he's going through the channels, and mm-hmm. suddenly he see your face. Mm-hmm. So he say, "Wow, I, I like this person. He don't know who you are." So he keep watching. Then every day he watch the same the lecture because this one he's interested in. Mm-hmm. So he contact our center of, mm-hmm. and after a few weeks and now we are already a few months. He he's completely uh, vegetarian. Mm-hmm. He don't smoke. He don't drink. Oh. He's a total new person. 